Hi there, welcome to Imran Kitchen. Today I am going to make Ras Malai. So this is the one of the famous uh, desserts people like uh, oftenly. And also I remember I used to work for the Calgary Sweet House. It used to be now is uh, closed and uh, like in 1993. So there is a kitchen uh, curry section also in the uh, sweet section. So sometimes I get chance and I go to the sweet section and help the sweet maker. And I learned something. There is so many dishes I already learned from there for the sweet dish. So today I am going to share with you. So first of all, we need to boil the milk. So we need to anything pot like without non-stick. All you have to do first warm up the pot. Then you put some little bit of water, uh, oil, just few drops, and wipe with the paper towel then what happened so it will be not stick easily the milk with the pot so now we'll put the uh, one liter milk we are using one liter milk for the ras malai today so i'll give you the one liter recipe So you need to put the flame on medium but you need to remember always milk is stick with the pot so all you need to do you have to stir it like every continue two three minutes then after that you can take a break one minute then you have to until is boiled you have to stir it so it will take 15 minutes to boil so i'll give you some tips uh, during the boil the milk sometimes what happen is stick with the pot anyhow so now what happen if anything will stick with the with pot the milk will be because we are making the rasmalai when I start before i start making the process of the the cheese so i have to you need a, some fine strainer tea strainer you have to take like this and all the anything is like stick with the pot milk then you can clean it like this take all this thing then you can throw it like this so because ras malai we don't want anything like a, a stick with the things black things which is stick with the pot so you need, before we start the process of the cheese so we have to clean it so it will take three four minutes more the start will be boiled then i will start the process of the cheese so now milk is start boiling so i'll put the vinegar first we need a two tablespoon uh, vinegar white vinegar some people use lemon also and also we'll add the two tablespoon water we'll mix it now i'll put the slowly slowly the vinegar in the milk now we'll start moving the ladles slowly slowly then we'll put again now i'll put the, all the rest of the vinegar Now you can, you can see the water will be separate from the milk. So now you can see the water is separate from the milk. Cheese is ready. So now we have to move the from the hot stove. We'll put the cool one. Now we'll add some water, cold water. We have to uh, put, put down the temperature from hot to little bit cold. After 5 minutes, we will strain the cheese, uh, we will strain the water from the cheese. So now we will put the, uh, make the syrup, so we need first uh, almost 6 cup of water. 
uh, this is six six cups water, and I will put the two cup of uh, sugar. So we'll mix it. When we'll cook the rasmalai inside the syrup, syrup has to be little bit uh, more than enough. So it will be easily boiled and cook fast and cook perfectly. So now we'll strain the uh, water from the uh, milk, so from the cheese. So now we need to put some cold water because there is a vinegar so it will be little bit uh, sour so need to clean it so it's already wash it and uh, now you need uh, like a cheese cloth for the strain the, the water now we'll We'll press it little little, then also all the excess water we have to take it out. Or sometime you can hang it like this. It will take time. So all the water will come out. So I will do by hand. I'm pressing. Now what happens? Now we put the uh, leave the cheese in the strainer. So is there any excess water it will be leaked so we'll leave it for 15 minutes so water will be is there anything left over then it will come out so meantime we are boiling the syrup so we have to boil like a at least 10 minutes we don't have to make too thick syrup all i need to do just little bit boil it and after that we will turn off uh, the gas then i will go for the next uh, next process the cheese is ready i already strained all the water but still there will be some moisture and has to be some moisture if it's too dry then it will be not easy to make the rasmalai you have to just clean all this excess the cheese you have to take it out So the syrup is already ready, it has been boiling for the last 7 minutes, so we don't have to boil too much. So now I will just put the flame on low and meantime I will make the uh, rasmalai, how to make that, I will make the shape. So syrup I already put the one side, so now I will make the rabadi. So this is half liter milk. So we need to boil it, so we need to continue, I can put the flame on medium now, so we will continue stir it, I will make little bit thicker this milk, so now the milk is start boiling, so now we will put the some, uh, this is green cardamom powder like a pinch of, and also we will put some pinch of saffron, And also we'll put some this is called jarda yellow color food color you can we can put little bit pinch of the egg yellow color so we will get the little big uh, restaurant style color egg yellow color and also we'll put the quarter cup of sugar because we need to make sweet this rubbery has to be little bit sweeter not too sweet just medium sweet and also we will put some dry almond crush one and also some pistachio already crush it or either slice it so now we have to cook this rubbery next 10 minutes because we have to reduce little bit the milk we don't have to make too thick just little bit reduce so or you can cook next 10 minutes boil it after when i make the cheese i already cover with the wet cloth uh, this is the cheese cloth is already wet you need to cover it otherwise it will be dry so because we are going for two three step process so that's why i have to keep it cool down 
and moisture. So now we'll make the uh, cheese ball. So first of all, we have to mix it with the palm. Press it like this. It has to be paste and perfectly mix it. You can see there is a moisture. So moisture is good. Little bit has to be moisture. If it's too much moisture, you have to mix it little bit while. Then all the moisture will be uh, gone from the cheese. Just three, four minutes, mix it. So now cheese is ready, already mix it. So now we'll put the shape. First make the round shape, then little bit press it. If you think it's too soft and stick with your hand, so you can take little bit oil on your hand, little bit. Then uh, uh, you have to put some dusting on the underneath. So we'll make almost 10, uh, 10 ras malai in 1 liter milk. So now time to put the uh, ras malai in the syrup. So syrup has to be boiling point. So now we have to cover it because we have to make the when you cover it, so it will really develop the form inside the syrup. So it will cover everything, all the rasmalai. Then it will be boiled, cook fast. So I like to show you how to is boiling point. You can see is there is a form create, and also is become bigger. And after that, you need to cook like at least 10 minutes to 12 minutes. Not not more than that. It will be hard. You have to flip it easily. And it's also not broke. So it has been cooking for the last 10 minutes. And now you can see how bigger. I have to turn off the gas. I can see it was before was like a very small. It's like a twice bigger because the cheese is very soft and moisture. That's why it's become a bigger. So now I have to keep the just for 10 minutes. On the other side of the stove, the cool one, leave it for 10 minutes, then after the final step. So after 10 minutes now, this is like a cold water, I already put in the freezer, freezer for the last 15 minutes, it now it's cold. If you have ice, you can add some ice in the water, then you can take the rasmalai, just put it in the water. So now I have to show you like uh, how it's textured the rubbery. You can see it's not too thick, not too runny. I just cook for 10 minutes. So now I'll show you how spongy the rasmalai. Because we put the rasmalai in the cold water, we have to stop the processing. That's why we keep it there, put it in there and also it's become a soft. And now I can show you, see all the water is coming down and it's dry. Then I will put back again in the water. It will be absorbed again water within one minute. That means it's perfect, spongy and soft. So I will take it again. You can see. Same thing happened with this one. When we put the, squeeze the rasmalai and put it in the inside. Keep it for four, uh, four hours in the freeze. Then it will be become a very soft and uh, it will absorb the, all the sauce inside, it will be tasty. So now time to, this one has to be warm temperatures, not too hot, not too cold. So this is perfect temperature warm. Now I will put the one by one. First squeeze the water, 